Hey everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations and welcome to Ken's Creations Roadmap to Cricut Design Space. In this series of videos, we're gonna take a personal look at Cricut Design Space and all the different pieces that go into it that you can use to make the perfect project. So let's take a look at what today's installment is all about. One of the great features introduced by Cricut was the Make It Now projects. The Make It Now projects were introduced by Cricut to give people inspiration to creation in a matter of a few clicks on your computer. Now, before we dive deep into the Make It Now projects, you're gonna to wanna to log in to your Cricut.com account. This is really important because a lot of these projects are going to use images from the Cricut library. And if you own these images, you don't wanna get charged for that project. Now, once you've logged in, it's gonna take you back to the Make It Now project screen. From here, we can go ahead and scroll through and look at all of the projects Cricut has given us. Now keep in mind, they're adding projects on a weekly basis. Now if you don't want to scroll through all these different projects, you can come up here to this drop down box. This is going to show you all of the categories and a certain project might be tagged by the designer to fit into a certain category. So for example, if we go to home decor, this is going to show all of the projects that the designers have said, hey, this is a home decor project. Now, as you can see, there's a ton of different categories all the way down to free. Free are using free Cricut images and will not require any cost or subscription service. There is also a new category that is free for Cricut Explore Air users. For this demonstration, we're just gonna go back to all categories. Now, I can go ahead and take a look and pick a project that I like. So let's take a look at these February 14th treat bags. Now, once you've opened a project, you can take a look at a couple of different options in here. The first thing is we wanna look what is required for this project. First of all, we wanna know the difficulty of this project, whether it be easy, moderate, or hard. Also, we wanna know how much time to set aside for this project. We're given a completed picture of what the project should look like when it's finished. It's not always the case, I know. Also, under project resources, it's going to tell you the images needed for this project. This is why it was important to log into your Cricut.com account, because this will let you know if those images now are images you own, are the images that you've subscribed to the Cricut subscription service, are they free images, or will there be a cost to the images? You also have a description of the project and who made it, all of the materials suggested to finish this project, the instructions and how to assemble it. Now under the assemble, there also might be more instructions on third-party products that you might need to use. Now, once you've read through this, you need to decide, do I wanna make this project or do I wanna look at other projects? The great thing is you can actually thumb through project to project by using the arrows on either the left hand of the screen or the right hand of the screen. By clicking this, this will go through all the different projects so you don't have to go back to that splash page. So you can take a closer look at what each project is. Let's go back to those treat bags and make those. Now, down in the lower right hand corner, you have a couple options. You can either make it now. Now this will actually bring the project up as it was designed by the creator. It will separate all of your images. It will have them already sized. And literally all you have to do is load the paper and hit go. That's really what the inspiration to creation in a few clicks is all about. However, there is another option. This option lets you customize the project. So if you wanted to make these treat bags, but you wanted to make them for a birthday versus Valentine's Day, you could customize that by hitting the customization key. This will bring up the project, and from here, you can select each individual item and change them as you see fit. You can go ahead and ungroup items, you can move things off, you can delete things, whatever you would like to do, you would be able to do. So if we want to get rid of all of these Februaries and the background and just have the February 14th, we can do that and now hit go. This will make the appropriate changes, resize everything, and now you can hit go and you can cut your customized Make It Now project. Now let's take a look at what happens when you actually have a project that you need to pay for. So for example, down here, this washi card, 
under project resources, you can see that it has a 499 charge. Now, if I was to hit the Make It Now project, upon cutting, it's going to want me to pay that 499. You're going to be using your payment profile that is set up at Cricut.com. And once you purchase this, it will automatically be part of your Cricut image library and you'll have access to that from now on. So you could hit the Make It Now and go through the same process and purchase this. However, if you don't want to pay, all you need to do is go into the customization once again. You're going to look for that font and you're going to go ahead and change it. So as you can see here, here is that font that they've used that is going to charge me. So all I would need to do is ungroup that right there and then go ahead and either get rid of it or bring in something else. Now when I hit go, as you can see, there is no charge and I'm able to just cut this project by hitting the go key. So that's a great option. If you don't want to pay for the images that the designer has used, you can absolutely customize them and make them your own. Now I love the Make It Now projects and it really truly gives you inspiration to creation in a matter of clicks. And keep in mind, every week they're adding more images. So check back regularly and get inspired. Well, I hope you learned something new in that installment of Ken's Creations Roadmap to Cricut Design Space. If you haven't seen all the videos in this series, make sure to click the playlist on your screen now. You'll be taken to the playlist with the collection of the entire Roadmap to Cricut Design Space videos. Also, if you haven't checked out my print to cut videos, make sure to click this playlist now. This will give you an inside look of how to calibrate your machine, update your firmware, and get your machine ready for print to cut. Alright, thanks for watching today's video. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Thanks.